Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. Today's video is all about mental health and well-being and how you might use witchcraft to ensure that your mental health is stable. Now I wanted to talk about this because many years ago, and if you follow me on Instagram you might have picked this up, I suffered from psychotic postpartum depression. You know, the really bad one where you want to kill everyone and then yourself. And with help from healthcare workers and by using routine witchcraft techniques I was able to stabilise my condition. What that psychotic episode left me with was the ability to slip down the greasy pole into a depressive episode and I can get myself into a better position now mentally using witchcraft techniques and these routines to help me not fall down that black dog road. So today's video is sponsored by Aura, who's an Apple award winning app. The reason I accepted the sponsorship is because they are all about well-being. So here is my top five witchcraft routines and techniques that you can use to help you with your mental health. Now, this is not a cure for mental health. Mental health doesn't work like that. You do have to work at it. But I do find these routines and techniques really useful in keeping me stable. So, being a witch, I can personally tell when somebody else is depressed or in a depressive episode. And I can see it in their aura. It is really important, in my opinion, that as a witch, you look after your psychic self as well as your physical and mental self. So therefore, my first tip is to clean your aura. Now, why might you need to clean your aura? Well, it picks up negative energies from other people. For example, if you're a mother, you might pick up the negative emotions of your child and carry them with you because, you know, you're worrying about your kids. Equally, you might do exactly the same about your close friends if they're going through hard times. You will pick up and take away their negativity and carry it in your aura. So how do you care for your aura and clean it? There's lots of rituals to do this, but my personal favourite is to use smoke. And you do a smoke cleanse of your aura, otherwise known as a smudge. This is a little ritual that I perform whenever I feel the need. When you're using the joss stick or your incense to comb the smoke through your aura, it's as important to try and feel how it's affecting your body. You can feel it on your body as you pass the smoke around it. And this will show you where on your body you need to focus that cleansing smoke. Your aura can get damaged from other people's negativity and taking this negative energy away out of your aura will help the aura repair itself and keep it cleansed. It's a really lovely ritual to do. You can do it on a daily basis should you need to. My top tip here is to choose the flavour and smoke that you like and enjoy. So I often do it with rose because I love the smell of rose. It appeals to my particular psychic self. My second top tip for keeping yourself well and stable and upbeat is to go outside. I know this sounds so simple, doesn't it? And it is. As a human being, our natural state is not to be enclosed by four walls and a ceiling. Our natural state is to be outside, surrounded by nature. Mother Earth, Mother Nature has a natural healing quality. And being outside gives you that natural earth magic healing. My great and departed mother, who was an extraordinary witch, used to teach me this as a very young child. If I was having a tantrum or just being upset or sad, she'd take me outside, preferably to the water. Water has natural cleansing, healing, uplifting energies. There's nothing like connecting with water to help you in your well-being. You know, the sun, the moon and the earth are all here to heal and help grow human beings. That is pretty much their job. Sometimes something as simple as going outside can be better than any drug. And now I want to talk about Aura, which is a mindful mental health and well-being app. 
It has won the Best of Apple Award and it is used by over 7 million people. And this is an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep. It is different from other well-being apps because it has thousands of life coaches, therapists, psychologists, teachers from all around the world who can give you personalised and one-to-one -one care. This is where Aura really helped me because I'm fascinated by CBT techniques, which is neuroprogramming or changing the way your brain thinks. And that was really instrumental in helping me be more calm. I particularly liked Happiness Insight, two clinical psychotherapists who have an unhelpful thoughts podcast, which I thought was brilliant. You can start a free trial on the app to see whether it would work for you. In the description box below, I have a special link where the first 500 people who sign up with the app will get a massive 25% off their first year. Just click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to Aura. My third everyday witchcraft tip for magical self-care is to get dressed. Sometimes a little care taken when you get dressed for the day gives you a real mental boost. This can be as simple as choosing your favourite earrings to wear or putting on that shirt which you know looks good in you. When you're down, you don't necessarily care about how you look or what you look like. And this is simply a symptom of us not really caring about ourselves. In order to relieve this symptom, just choose something that looks good on you. Put some makeup on, if that is the thing you like to do, or wear your favourite earrings. It is as simple as that. This leads straight on to the fourth tip, which is to spell your clothing, your makeup, your earrings, your jewellery, whatever that you think is your favourite item. You can glamour spell it, and that is so easy and quick to do cast a circle and here I'm casting a circle using a joss stick. I'm using smoke to cast my circle. I'm going to ask the circle to put a beautifying spell onto the makeup within it. I then cast my intent onto this makeup that it will make me look and feel more beautiful and glamorous. Remember to be very concise and to the point when you're casting spells because fuzzy ideas get fuzzy results. And so this is my fourth top tip, create a glamour spell. My last tip, and this one is really very obvious if you think about it, is to use water on your body every day. Sometimes those people who are in a depressive episode don't care about themselves and therefore don't keep clean. However, water cleanses not just your physical body, but it will cleanse your psychic and aura self. It will by default wash other people's negativity off you and can even wash away any bad jujus or nasty entities that might be hanging around. Witches who were in a coven and doing group magic would always do a purification ritual beforehand. This to ensure that they're not bringing excess negativity into a group magic situation, which can change the outcome of the spell. That's why people saw witches as being naked, because of course you get naked to wash your body with water. You don't want to hang around in wet clothes, do you? And also this has nothing to do with sex magic. You know, you do the purification ritual and then you put your clothes back on because it's bloody cold out there you know. It is important to cleanse your body every day with water because that will take off that negativity that you have collected from other people and this does and can change the outcome of your spells. So this is an important part of ritual well-being. Let me know in the comments below what you do to help with your mental health. There are so many different tips out there. Sharing them might benefit somebody else, so please do let me know. Otherwise, my coven meeting is coming up in a few days, so please go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill for details. Please also like and subscribe because it really helps my channel. And I will see you in a few days. Mm -hmm.